Hi, I'm Kona Cat, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and play Donut Shop. It's a two to four player tile laying game for ages eight and up, plays about 20 to 40 minutes. So let's get our donut on and let me show you how to play. Here is everything that is in the box. Uh, we have our money all here, pre-sorted in all our increments. Um, we have our main starter donut tile here, as you can see. Uh, we also have all the tiles here. We have our donut rack here, and I'll show you how to assemble that here shortly. Um, we also have our order cards. That's all of these here. Um, and our napkin holder. And again, I'll show you how to assemble this guy. Here um, I have all our donut boxes here sorted out. And over here are the components for the deluxe edition. We get four donut hats that all your players can wear. And we have the blue plate special expansion with new tiles and new order cards here. Here are all the pieces to put together our donut rack here. Um, We're gonna start with this piece here. We're gonna use this one here with the donuts with, that are a little faded, like they have some glass in front of them. We're gonna take this, uh, put that in this hole here so you can see. Um, then we're gonna grab this one. It has these little lines on it. Um, we're gonna have this one in this spot here. So you can see we have it set like this a couple different angles <laughs> and then we're gonna grab this side we're gonna attach uh, this side like this um, so let me get this lined up here <laughs> we got it I think we got oh, almost <laughs> almost got it okay uh, almost <laughs> there we go uh, we got that lined up like that just kind of make it a little tight there oops 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 <laughs> okay uh we got that uh lined up so i'll show you a little bit just so that you know like keep the pictures on the outside here so you can see them everything on the inside here is going to be the the plain color here um then we are going to grab this part here it's got the little little donuts here we're going to stick this through here and kind of connect these gently but firmly <laughs> so we can kind of get it all connected and now we don't have to hold it so tight so again just so you can see all the angles of it um, and then on this back end here we're going to take this guy um, this is going to go through these two slots here and these two here so we're just going to slide this in like so and line this up gently but firmly get everything set in place so again you can see all the different angles here um, and then our last piece is this one um, on the back end of the donut rack this is going to go into these spots and there we have our donut rack is ready to go these are the pieces for our napkin holder. Um, we are going to take this refill spot here. If you notice down at the bottom, it has a two on this side. Um, on this side of our napkin holder piece, there's a one. We're gonna put that two into the one here, um, but we're gonna have this refill side facing upwards. So just so you can see what we're doing here, that's gonna go here. Then we're gonna fold this up. It naturally folds so you don't have to force it. Um, but I have to try to keep this in place. <laughs> so we got to keep that in place <laughs> while we fold these sides here of the napkin holder. We need to get this um, into this hole here. Okay, so see, we get folded this. This also naturally folds, and I just messed it up by <laughs> doing that. Um, naturally folds here. Let's try this again. <laughs> All right, we got that. See, we got that in there, in there. Let's get this side wrapped around so we can stop fumbling. And so we have all of this folded in on top of each other, snug in there. This piece right here, uh, I don't think it matters which side you choose. Um, you're going to put this up through here and lock everything into place um, through these slots here. And then we have our napkin holder and we are ready to play with this. Setup for Donut Shop is really straightforward. We are gonna start off with this starter display case piece. Um, this is gonna go in the middle of the play area within reach of everybody. The entire game is based around this. You're gonna be placing tiles all around this uh, piece here. Next, we are going to shuffle up our donut tiles here. That's all of these. We got a couple stacks here because there's a lot. We are going to remove two from the game completely. And then we're gonna pass out a donut tile to each player face down for their eyes only. Then we are going to reveal two tiles to place in the front of our display case here. And the rest go unseen um, in the back here. 
And then our donut tiles are all set to go. And I'll show you a little bit, if you need a little better angle. <laughs> there we go. Next, we are going to shuffle up our order cards here, uh, shuffle them up. We're gonna also remove two from the game completely and deal one card to each player face down. And then we are going to take two and display them face up and the rest go unseen into our napkin holder here, as you can see. <laughs> Next, we are going to sort our donut boxes by their type. Um, and then these four pack 20 cent uh, boxes, we are going to pass to each player that's playing. So this player would get one here and any leftover are added to the open available donut boxes out here. Last but not least, we need our money nearby. <laughs> We've got fives, tens, 25s, 50s, and hundreds here. Woohoo! Um, we keep that close by too. And then our starting player is the person who most recently ate a donut. The game plays with each player taking their turn, uh, placing a donut tile from their hand out into the main area, matching it up, scoring based on what they've matched, and then possibly boxing up donuts so you can get more money. And then you will draw new tile and new cards at the end of your turn. So let's get a little more into the details of how this plays. So when you add a donut tile from your hand out into the main play area, there are some restrictions on how you're going to place it. One, one side has to be able to fully match with another side. So you can place here, uh, you can place here, you can place out here, but you cannot place a uh, half a tile like that. You can't place like this. <laughs> um, if we had a couple out here, just to show an example, you can't place like this that is still crossing two different tiles. So you need to match with one full tile space each. Um, you could do something like this. Now, when you do match up here, so let's place this one for an example, you are going to pick one donut from, from the tile that you placed to score off of. So this one, I mean, it would make sense to do these yellow donuts here. <laughs> um, and you would get five cents for each donut in that group that you've chosen. So for this one, I would get five, 10, 15, 20 cents. Um, we'll take two tens here. And that would be my scoring for that donut. You can only pick one donut group. You can't do more than one. And if there is a tile like this, let's use this one as an example, with sprinkles on it, the sprinkles still count towards that color group. So if I place this one, I would still count this towards the yellows. If I placed this one here, this one would still count towards the chocolate ones here. Now that we have placed and scored our donut tile here, uh, we have the option to box up donuts. Um, right now, our only order that we have are yellow uh, iced donuts, um, and there is not a four pack or any of these available for me to box, but I'll play a couple here so you can see what happens. So I cannot box any donuts up for extra points. So then I'm going to draw an extra tile and order card into my hand. Um, there are some restrictions here. Uh, you can pick a face up donut tile and a face down order card, or you can pick a face up order card and a face down tile. So for example, um, let's say I got this yellow going pretty good. I'm gonna choose this one to put into my hand, um, but then I have to draw a blind order card here. And that will also go into my hand. And all of these are private. These aren't uh, public knowledge. <laughs> so uh, that would be the end of my turn there. Next player would take their turn. And I'll show you a couple of these built out a little bit. Let's go ahead and continue this one here. We cannot place it like this. Like I said, these are over two tiles. Uh, we could do this though here. And we would be able to score these yellow. We would get 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 cents for that. Let's hook me up. <laughs> um, and by doing this, we do have the option to box up. <laughs> so let me show you how this works. Um, you have to use the order cards you have in your hand in order to box up those particular kinds of donuts on the board. Now, in this case, it does not matter if uh, the, the donuts you are boxing uh, cross over uh, different tiles here. Um, they just cannot uh, fall off the edge here. They cannot overlap each other. Let's say I have this one and someone wants to do this kind of goofy thing. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't overlap. Um, it's got to be on its own. Um, when you box it, uh, so for instance, I have one, I have these three yellows. I have uh, this plain one here and I have a plain 
uh, order card and a yellow. I can use both of these to box up these donuts. If there were sprinkles uh, in this donut uh, box, I would get an additional 10 cents for the yellow ones. And if there were sprinkles for the plain one, I would get 10 additional cents for that. So these are actually bonuses that you can get when boxing. Uh, I only have plain ones here, so I would just get the 20 cents. Um, give me my money here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, I'd get my 20 cents um, and these get discarded from the game. I will show you another example here on how to box donuts up. Um, I could place this one on my turn. You're always gonna place a tile on your turn no matter what. It doesn't have to match, but I mean, it would make sense to want to match them. <laughs> um, so let's say I do something like this up here with the blues and I place that one, I would get five, 10, 15, 20, 25 for that. And then I can box up, uh, let's box up this little I got a little six pack here I can box up. Um, these are all the open ones, so I can take any of these that are available. So I can take this six pack. Um, I can box these up here. I would have to pay my plain one because there's a plain one in this six. I would have to pay this yellow and I would have to play a chocolate. But because I have a sprinkle chocolate in that pack, I get an extra 10 cents. So let me just take that now. <laughs> we'll place this six pack right here. We get our 30 cents. We would discard these from the game and I was supposed to refresh these as we did, <laughs> as we took these. So at the end of my turn, I would take a tile, face up tile, face down uh, donut cart order here, flip these back over and next player's turn. Now there are some other extra bonuses here. As you can see, there are these coffee coffee mugs here. If you box donuts with these coffee icons here, um, you can get extra bonuses here. How it works is you have to use multiple coffee bonus cards. So uh, you would box up with a white icing donut and a yellow icing donut. Um, if you were able to do that, which I don't see any out here to be able to show you. <laughs> um, but if you had both of these in your donut box, um, you would get an extra 15 cents for having two coffee cards. Um, if you had a third coffee card, let's see if we can find one quickly. <laughs> here we go. All right, if we boxed up, if we boxed up uh, a blue icing, yellow icing and white icing, uh, donuts and we use all three of these cards then we would get the 25 cent bonus because they all have coffees on them um, and you would only get 25 cents you wouldn't get 25 times three <laughs> the last tile we need to discuss here is these little donut holes these count as wild so they are super fun and helpful to have um, you can place this uh, and score still only with one type of donut. If I placed it here, I could score all the white icing donuts here and use that as a white icing. If I came back and any player uh, played this one here, I could then use it as a plain donut here. So just because you use this as a white icing donut in a turn before doesn't mean it stays that way. So you can continue to use it as wild no matter and what. Again, if you were to play like this tile here, you could keep building off of that. You'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, and use that as a white. And when there are no more uh, donut tiles or order cards from the draw stacks, from, from the face down draw stacks, when those are completely empty, when the last one is taken, one more round is played, um, but each player will take a turn without drawing any new tiles. So everyone will play one more turn out here, but you will not draw anything more into your hands. So the end of the game, uh, the player with the most money, which right now is me, um, will win. If there's a tie, the person with the most order cards left in their hand wins. And if there is still a tie, the victory is shared. One last thing to note is that when you are boxing your donuts, you can discard two of any uh, order cards that are of the same kind and use it as a wild. So you could discard these two and use it as a white ice donut or a plain donut, um, but you have to, but it has to be two of the same kind. However, if you were to use these two as a wild, if I use these two uh, yellow ones, um, I would not get a sprinkle bonus and I would not get the coffee bonus because these are being discarded and used as a plain donut or chocolate donut or blue ice donut instead of what they actually are. Also, when you are picking a tile or order 
card here. Um, you have to pick the one that you are using face up first and then get the face down one. So I would have to, if I wanted these donut, one of these donut tiles that are face up, I would choose that one first, then, then do the one that's unseen. Or if I chose one of the order cards, then I could choose the face down one here. And that's everything I can show you on how to set up and play Donut Shop. And I'll see you next time for the next game. Bye.